Good morning. It is 12 February 2021. It's 8.45 a.m. in Brussels at the moment, which means it's a special day for me because that means today I have turned 24 years old. It's my birthday. Um, and future Sean will note that today marks the day that 30% of my life is actually behind me. So I'm one third of the way in. And I know that's a macabre way to start my birthday. <laughs> um, however, it's it's the epitome of this video and the, the let's say, the crux of, of the thought processes I've been having over the past few days and, and it's integral as to why I'm doing this. So if you're a friend of mine or if you're close to me, you're probably seeing this video and saying, Sean, what the hell are you doing? You, you look horrible. Shaved face, crusty eyes. It's, it's very early. You're clearly congested. <laughs> uh, but there's, there's a purpose to this, a bit of a long-term purpose, which I will try and explain through this video. Um, as a more of a conversation with myself, rather than for the aim of, of public justification as to why I'm doing this. Uh, however, hopefully it'll make sense as we go along. Um, to explain exactly what's going on, to explain why I'm doing this. The, I've been reflecting a lot over the past few, the past few days. I tend to do that a bit excessively. Um, the statistic that um, at 24 years of age, I'm 30% of the way into life, and based on a life expectancy of 79, just pushed me to reflect a bit. Um, and I'm aware that I, I couldn't be more grateful over the, the opportunities and experiences I've had over, over the past few years, the potential to travel to numerous different places across the world and, and meet uh, thousands, literally thousands of interesting human beings that come from all different areas of the planet and, and each of them bringing their own spark and their own uh, unique, let's say, uh, character and, and energy to, towards, towards the spaces that I was involved in. I, I, looking back, I'm, I'm really grateful of the, the, the opportunities and the, the spaces that I got to travel to. However, the, the sad truth is that and for almost a year now, things have stagnated. The, the pandemic and the isolation that it brought with it was not easy to deal with, especially dealing with it when moving to a foreign country. The excitement of the daily excitement that I became accustomed to of potentially traveling to someplace new, to meeting new people, to being exposed to new ideas, to having the opportunity to take spontaneous adventures, whether at home or abroad, is gone. I haven't done something new in a long time. I haven't met someone new in months. I haven't been exposed to interesting discussions or, or conversations in a, in a considerable amount of time. It's one of the reasons why I love Clubhouse, to be honest, and note. So I, I feel like my life has stagnated a bit, where I've, I've reached a bit of a plateau, wh whether due to external factors or internal factors, I'm in a position right now where uh, life is a bit routine. I've, I've recognized that I'm in a bit of a, a comfort zone that's not really comfortable, but very stagnant, very grayscaled. It isn't very different in the day-to-day -day running of things. and. And that always scares me because I want to be exposing myself to new ideas. I want to be challenging myself to do something that I potentially haven't done before or that actively makes me anxious, not for the sake of anxiety, but for the sake of growing past the potential fears I might have behind that concept or behind that action, um, for the sake of growing as a human being, of, of trying something, of failing forward, if you please. Um, and this is exactly why I'm here. This is exactly why I'm doing this video, why I'm literally doing it at 8.30 in the morning with crusty eyes, a congested voice, a shaved face. Like It's not about the final product looking good. It's about potentially trying to document a process of creating something, creating a video, that's I'm actually comfortable doing and exciting doing. Um, 
So what am I doing here? What is this? Um, for my 24th year, I have basically challenged myself to record 50 videos across the year, which is basically a, a video per week. That's difficult. And I, I already know it's going to be very hard for me to do that. But primarily, it's going to be hard because I have no idea what kind of video I would be comfortable doing. It's weird that I, I have this, this desire within me that I know I want to try and communicate something. I know I have ideas in my head that I, I wish to have the, the near audacity to, to speak about publicly, but I'm not entirely sure how. I'm not entirely sure how I should go about it. And I think that comes from a position of being scared to fail, of, of a position of anxiety that comes out of the fear of being judged and the fear of publicly failing. And I feel succumbing to that failure, succumbing to that feeling, sorry, um, is failing by default. It's putting yourself in a position where you don't even try and therefore you'll never know and you're stuck with the regret of not attempting to try and communicate the ideas in your head. Uh, so this little project is, is not centered around publicity. The aim is actually to assume that no one is going to see any of these videos um, over the whole course of the project. So if you're seeing this, I salute you. Hello, come say hi, because at least we'll get to network. But unfortunately, publicity is not the aim of this. It's consistency. The aim is to document a content creation process, but not with content creation being the aim of this channel. Documentation is the aim of this channel. Whether the video is good or bad, I'm planning to try and document these 50 videos to see where I end up in a year. The aim is to try and find, a, uh, to, to get a space, which is video creation and, and content creation on, on a channel like YouTube, which predominantly makes me anxious. And to try and consistently create content in that space to a point where I do then feel comfortable in a space that once made me feel anxious. But I can't do that without trying. I can't do that without failing a few times. So if I set a goal for myself, which allows me to fail multiple times with multiple different ideas, but the goal is not centered around the, let's say, quality of the content, but the consistency of the content, then I would be setting myself up to try more times because the variables that will define the success of the goal is literally built upon experimenting and trying new things and, and not being afraid to do something different for video 12 or video 32. Like, so this is why I'm here. This is what I'm doing. Now, I, I won't lie, the hope of this is potentially to find a way to mix this into both my personal and professional life. At the end of the day, I do work in communications and working with video is a fundamental part of it. Whether you're running ads, whether you're starting a business, or whether you're just trying to communicate ideas in general. So I think each and every one of us, if we have an idea, we owe it to ourselves to try to bring that idea to fruition. I think it die with us is one of the... <laughs> I had to pause there because I don't even have words for it, but I'm traumatized by the potential of having my ideas and thoughts die with me. It's one of the, the biggest fears I think I have as an individual. So yes, I have completely winged this video. I barely had an idea as to where I was going to take it. I gave myself... Uh, 15 minutes to record it from 8.45 to now, and it's, it's 2 minutes to 9. So if you're watching this, it's understand that this is a project from me to myself. I really hope that I will manage to do the, this 50 video run. And then at the end of the 50, 50 videos, I hope that I can come back in a year's time and look at myself and recognize that I have grown. Uh, but to do that, I need to start somewhere, and I guess rock bottom is a, is a good foundation to, to try and, and build upon. Uh, but yes, if you're over here, if I'm not screaming into the void, it would be nice to, to connect with you, because networking is always nice. Um, and I guess that's video one done. We'll see where this goes. Start again.